In this video, I'm going to have a quick chat about hyaluronic acid injections for tendons. It's sometimes also known as hyaluronan, or under its trade names, of which there are many, you might have heard of it as Ostanil, something like that. Hi, my name's Steph. I'm one of the physios at treatmyachilles.com, which is an online clinic where you can get an individualised assessment and rehab programme for your injury. If this is something that interests you, then have a look at our website. The link to it is in the description of this video. Now, what is it? So hyaluronic acid is something that is naturally occurring in our synovial fluid. We have synovial fluid in all our joints. And what they've done is they synthesized this stuff, which reduces friction in the joint and they've prepared it for injection. And the theory is that it will mechanically reduce friction now, they were doing it for joints like arthritis, arthritis and the knee, things like that. Uh, but they've just started reasonably recently deciding to trial it in tendons. And the reasoning behind it is that sometimes if you've got inflammation or uh, friction in the tendon where it glides and slides in the stuff that covers it, which is known as the sheath, then if you inject the sheath with hyaluronic acid, which is a right mouthful, anyway, if you inject it with that, then it will reduce the friction, reduce the pain, and then help help recovery. There are not lots of studies on it. There's a couple of studies in 2015, 2017. There are not big studies. They only have small populations, which makes it more difficult to generalise it to the wider population because it is only a small sample size. Uh, but they did show there was some reduction in pain. So they it was quite positive in terms of the people had their injection. It hurt a lot less, which is great. But is it great in the long term? We don't know. They weren't followed up in long term studies. These were only short term studies. And from clinical experience so far, what I've seen is that people do have a reduction in pain when they have this done. However, if it's then not followed up with the right sort of loading or addressing the biomechanical factors or loading or activities that brought on this problem in the first place, uh, and if they don't address then the strength also so that you strengthen the tendon up enough so it can tolerate the activities that it couldn't cope with before and hence why it became painful, then all that happens is you reduce the pain, people go back to doing probably things that it couldn't cope with in the first place. And then the pain comes back a few months later. So if you're thinking of having this done, then it it can help with pain. It can reduce friction. However, it would be very important then to follow it up with the right sort of management, the right sort of rehab. And also when you're considering going back to the activity that it flared up in the first place, you do that in a graded way so that it doesn't suddenly do too much and you end up having injection after injection, which is not only costly, but not very good for you. So that is a quick summary on hyaluronic acid for tendons. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any queries, please contact us or um, have a look at our website for further information. Mm -hmm.